If you ever feel like a noob in Minecraft and you have no idea what's going on, these are the Minecraft hacks for you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're testing out some Minecraft hacks. Anyways, let's get into it. Yay! After filming hundreds and hundreds of Minecraft hacks, we got a few more for today's video because y'all been asking for it, and I got some more. Yo, my boy, what you doing here? Get off my turf. Watch out for those farmers, bro. They're trying to steal your Minecraft hacks. All right, so for the first Minecraft hack, it looks like my boy is making some kind of a bathtub. That's definitely a bathtub, so it shouldn't be that difficult at all. Okay, so we need a bunch of redstone on the actual bottom, all right? Then we're going to need some uh, observer blocks. And then on top of that, we're going to need some dispenser blocks, okay? And then we can run the redstone to anything we want. So let's see what we wanted to go over here. So same exact setup, redstone, boom, just like this. And then, you know, run it to a button. So let's say we want to run it over on this side. This should be pretty good. There we go. So the best spot for this actual hack is going to be the corner. So this way the bathtub does look legit. Rule number one from going from noob to a pro, you got to have really fancy Minecraft designs for your crib, bro. You can't be living in like a basic Minecraft house. You know, you got to have that fancy interior, okay? And there we go. Perfect. So next step, make sure you fill these up with water buckets before you place down the actual stairs. Okay, so once we've done that, we can actually put down the stairs all around. Okay, and we're good to go. So quartz stairs, and this is going to make a like, a like a bathtub shape. You know, it's pretty simple. Got to have that fancy carpet, and then take some stained glass panes, any color you want, and just put it right here. Remember, like I said, it's got to look like a bathtub. That's way better. Perfect. And now the actual end rod. So we're going to put it right here, and same thing. Boom. Yo, that looks legit. No way. Don't forget the sea pickles, bro. You got to put the sea pickles right here in the corner, just like you want it. There we go. And then a lever. So make sure it all connects properly. So we're going to put it all on this side. Ta-da! Perfect. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A legit Minecraft bathtub. So you go over here, you flick the lever, and now you can take a shower. This is going to be the oldest trick in the book. A lot of people already know this, but Minecraft mobs cannot pass rails. So if you've ever been inside of a dungeon and you, you, you pretty much don't see like, you know, zombies and stuff passing the rails, it, that's just the Minecraft tech. It's very simple. So let's say, for example, we got a creeper spawning, right? And we go over on this side. He can't cross over to me. He's got to actually walk around. So the same thing here, as you can see, my boy is running circles around the rail, dude. Like, what is this dude doing? Look at this dude. Come on, buddy. What you got, bro? Oh, not today. That's so funny. So if he's coming towards you, just start placing down a bunch of rails. Oh, and it's gone. I wonder if we can trap him inside of a rail. Yo, that, that might be a thing. Yo, you can trap him. Oh, oh, it didn't work. Never mind. <laughs> okay, come here. Come here. No. Ooh. I'm trying it out. I know it's doable. Get over here. <laughs> no, 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 no. Dang it! All right, we're gonna try one more time. We gotta get him in here. So there is a way you can prank Minecraft mobs. Dang it, bro. This is kind of tricky. You gotta get him quick. You can't cross over, bro. Oh, no, zombies cross over. Okay, so zombies can cross rails. That is confirmed. Oops, but creepers can't. Rule number one, never, ever, ever feed a parrot a cookie. It's a disaster. Watch. You give a parrot a cookie, they instantly die. Did you learn your lesson? Do not do it. Trust me, it's really bad for it. What if we feed an ocelot a cookie? I don't think, is that possible? It, it might also die. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> nope, you can't feed him anything. What about a wolf, though? Here we go. Nope, you can't feed him that. But a parrot... Ow, that's gotta hurt. So, most approved. Everybody that's watching this video, test out these micro packs in your own micro fold in Java Edition, Pocket Edition, Xbox Edition, whatever you got. Let me know if it actually works. So, for the third hack, you're transforming redstone ores into diamond ores. I don't think this is true at all. So, you grab lapis, you throw it at it, and it trans. And that's that, that can't be real. Get out of here, bro. So, redstone ore, keep right clicking. Wait, what? Huh? Wait, what? No way. It doesn't work. No, it doesn't work at all. I know, we're just being pranked. You know what? I'm sorry. Don't even try that. Maybe, maybe your pocket shit works. Hey, if you do right-click it, though, it is definitely glowing. But I think that's just because you can do that with anything, even your hands. So, yeah, it's it's not Musa Proof, okay? I don't know what you're thinking. Number four. Ooh. This is about to get intense. So, we need a three by three, okay, with two blocks down. Surround it with a block of iron, just like this. Then put the water all the way at the bottom. 
And from watching the video, it looks like he just dug up and created an iron golem inside of it. Okay, so that makes sense, I guess. Huh? Wait, okay. Boom, it worked. Now we're gonna fill this up with redstone. Yo, my, my dude's about to go to the moon, dude. So now we need layers of redstone dust and iron blocks. Layer one, layer two. So it's gotta be a total of three different layers. So just like the same exact thing. Almost done. It's really, really tedious, but it should work. I'm not even sure what he's doing. I think he's about to make them go to the moon. Three layers, done. And then on every single layer, you gotta put the TNT. But make sure you leave the middle open. What are we making, bro? Now, how do we connect them all together? I think I gotta use just like just redstone right here. Okay, so to connect them, you gotta go like this. And same goes for here. So redstone, uh, a little bit tricky. Let's try this out. There we go. Now all the layers should be connected. I'm gonna redo the connection. I'm gonna make it exactly like how he made it in the video. Okay, so he had a lever right here. All right, so he had the lever here, and then he had the redstone here. So he had it just like this, okay? All right, perfect. So redstone, all connected together, and then he had the lever right here. There we go, now we got it. And this should launch the iron golem to the moon! Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh! <laughs> Yo! It worked! Are you kidding me? Wait, where's my dude? Yo! Yo! Oh! He's still alive! My boy's a champ! He went to the moon! Ladies and gentlemen, hit the subscribe button to get your boy moves to 5 mil subs for my boy, Mr. Iron Golem. He just got launched to the moon. So how many can we launch together? Ooh, I have an idea now. And can I launch myself in the process? That's what I'm wondering. Summon Iron Golem. We're gonna get a bunch of these dudes. Okay, they might start dying. They might, I, I can't, I can't get out. I can't get out. Oh, jeez. To the moon. Let's, woo, yo, yo, we're flying. Yo, my boys, where you at? Hey, what's good? It's a party up here. Yo, what just happened? That's so sick. All right, so that's Mr. Proof. Number five. So I'm watching the dude in the video and he just simply built up a platform here. And then I'm not sure how many blocks that is going out. I think it was like four. It's a four by four. Or like three blocks out this way, three blocks out this way. Not too sure. So it's supposed to be enough to put down around three beds together with glass surrounding it. So let's go to test it out real quick. Okay, so fill this all in together. Make sure you grab yourself some glass and just like this. Now, like I said, we do have to fit the beds in here. So we got to grab one, two, three beds together. So this has to be a smaller platform. I think I made it a little bit too big. So this should work a little bit better. There we go. All right, and it should be just like this. And then surrounded by a bunch of glass. So I think what he's pretty much making here is an actual farm. So it's going to keep on building the glass. And I'm watching the video. He just put a bunch of villagers there. And then he's adding in fences on top. So I guess it's a it's a new villager breeding technique. I think so. He's pretty much covering the entire top of this with uh, more blocks. And then he's creating some kind of fence gates. I don't know what he's building at all, but I'm still watching the video, dude. Okay, so it doesn't make much sense, but we're just gonna try it out. The villager spawned eggs. Oh, where's my dudes at? Here we go. Got a couple villagers. Oh, no, they'll fall. And we have to close them off inside here. So guys, I'm so, I'm so sorry about this. There we go. So now we're going to need a bunch of fences all around. So going just like this. There we go. And then these have to be fence gates. All right, so let's pull this in real quick. And then the fence gates. Connect them all together. Break the blocks underneath. Open them up. Grab yourself some water. And now put the water down right here. Ooh, it's working. Wait a minute. All right, so this contraption's getting pretty crazy. Yo, this is actually really, really intense. Oh, it all makes sense. So from what it looks like, my dude has built an automatic iron golem farm for iron. So yeah, as I was saying, it's an iron golem farm. It's pretty simple. All right, so all you're doing here is do this. Okay, there we go. So the bottom has to be actual water. And then over here has to be a bunch of signs, so this way the lava doesn't actually go down. So just like this, perfect. Put the lava right here, and now it won't flow down. Ta-da! And now in the corner, all we gotta do is set up a basic like hopper setup. The double chest setup with the hopper. Ta-da! And then fill this all up with the water. There we go. Nice. I think you probably do this better. 
kind of make the water stream like flow. Yeah, that should do it. Awesome. If we do this, it should flow all the way down here, get collected into the chest. That works. Awesome. So ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be an automatic iron golem farm. The iron golems will spawn right on top of here and they're going to go all the way down here. So let's say, for example, summon iron golem. There we go. He's going to fall all the way down, fall down that lava pit. Oh, there he goes. Slowly die and he should drop iron. Wait for it. Wait for it. It takes a while. Any moment now. Literally bulletproof. Yo, did it work? Hey, it did work. Awesome. So there we go. It's most approved. Now, the only thing is, will the iron golem spawn? That's the tough part. Number six. This is how you create a mini carved pumpkin. So a nice little decoration. So dig two blocks down, put an oak slab, get an armor stand. All right. Oh, wait. Oh, come, come, come on. Can you just, just fall down? <laughs> Ta -da! And then grab a carved pumpkin. There we go. So now all we need is to take a grass block, okay? And then go over here or pretty much any block you want. Now all you gotta do is just simply push this block all the way down. So just like this. And now, oh, wait a minute. Almost. Break this. And we got ourselves a carved pumpkin. So we have a regular pumpkin and a mini pumpkin right next to it. Now, if you really want to try this in Pocket Edition, it's going to work a lot better. But if you want to make it look better in Java Edition, you just got to simply put layers of snow. So snow layers make it like a little bit lower. So for example, let's say we put three snow layers, okay? And we put an armor stand down here. It should look, yeah, it's going to look way better. So let's say we want to make it a little bit higher up. We're going to put another layer of snow. Now, if you do cover it up, it shouldn't stick out that much, right? Yeah, that, sh that one should be a lot better. There we go. One more try. So it's a little bit better. You're going to need about four layers of snow. So one, two, three, four. And that should make it look perfect. Final attempt. Hey, I guess it's a lot better. Yeah, it looks better for sure. Ta-da. So now you got a mini pumpkin. Rotating light Minecraft hack. So from the looks of it, it seems to be extremely simple. It's a nice way to have like a little podium or like a monument. So it's gonna be a great feature for your actual village or house. So this way nobody ever forgets, you know, where your stuff is. So just like this, perfecto and perfect. And now on top, you gotta build it like this, okay? and stack a bunch of redstone lamps right on top and it should activate, I believe. So from the looks of it, it doesn't seem to work in Java edition. It might work better on pocket edition, but I'm pretty sure you need some sort of redstone or possibly a, uh, I guess like a minecart system going underneath it. But as you can see, they're not glowing like in the video we just watched. So yeah, it's a little sus bro, if you ask me. But if you do take some rails and do the same exact setup here, so something like this, it might be possible. Oh, wait a minute. We might be onto something. Okay, so when it goes around, does it activate it? Let's find out. Okay. I doubt that's gonna work. No. Let's try it with redstone. So if we have a bunch of redstone dust, it might work. I don't know, dude. No, never mind. All right, so this is not moose approved. My dude over here is building a Minecraft tank. Now, is it gonna work? That's the question. So it seems to be really, really simple crafting. It's not too crazy. Just gotta start with an observer block right here. So let's start with the first observer block. Gotta put a sticky piston and then a slime block. You gotta have two layers of slime blocks. And then on this side, just build this way. So make sure you duplicate the same exact thing. So observer block, sticky piston, and two layers of slime block. So observer block, sticky piston, two layers of slime block. And then underneath here, we're gonna need some green terracotta blocks. Ta-da, perfect. And then in the center over on this side, put down a stair. So right over here, so quartz stair, put down a bunch of slime blocks. And then we need a green terracotta block. So I'm still watching this, it's pretty cool. There we go, interesting. Ta-da, perfect. Okay, so it's gonna break all this, all right? and the moment of truth. So all we gotta do is put a block here. Yo, the Minecraft tank is working. It's sending it, ladies and gentlemen. That is Moose approved. Click this video right here for some more Minecraft hacks and I'll see you tomorrow, yeet.